remember first exploring the ocean as a kid. It always really fascinated me that there was this other world right in our backyards that people paid so little attention to. After I started studying marine biology, I finally got scuba certified. I remember just having this epiphany. Nature is so much more creative than I could ever be. I'm Courtney Madison. I'm an artist and ocean advocate. I feel so lucky to have been invited by Oceanic Society to visit Raja Ampat now and see one of the last really healthy coral reef ecosystems on our planet. The first thing that people often don't realize is that corals are animals. They live in colonies of hundreds or thousands of individuals all on one piece that looks like a rock. Coral reefs cover less than 0.1% of the seafloor, but they actually support 25% of life in the ocean. But now, coral reefs are at a tipping point. Yeah, so you told me a story when we first talked about you having spent time in Australia. In 2007, I spent a lot of time out on the Great Barrier Reef, and it was really, really beautiful. It seemed like it was a very healthy reef. I was so touched by that experience that nine years later, I wanted to bring my husband back to those same reefs and show him. We descended down onto the reef and started exploring. And then I remember turning the corner and as we looked beyond it, we saw a thicket of staghorn corals as far as we could see. And every single one of them was ghostly white. It's taken 10,000 years for coral reefs to grow into the ecosystems that they are today. And only in the last 50 years, we've lost half of them. Seeing bleaching like that changed everything for me because I could actually visualize climate change. Combining science and art is a powerful way to represent the fact that coral reefs are at a turning point. When I design a work, I start with a sketch. It's a combination of real life inspiration and a conceptual background. Ultimately, creating a gigantic wall relief can take eight months to a year. I think of my work as building monuments to coral reefs in celebration of their beauty and their fragility and their value. When someone looks at one of my works, I hope that they'll be kind of seduced by the colorful, healthy corals at the heart of the swirl. And then I hope they'll stand back and realize what's happening. I hope it will spark a sense of caring in viewers enough to protect them. I think that's part of why I admire corals so much, because I think it's a metaphor. Even one tiny little human in the world can make a gigantic difference if they focus their efforts. Me 
tak sabar menanti Jiwa lejon sampai mati Biar ale tak bisa jauh Ale ada di hati Tak gantung lama Katong pun cinta Tak gau waktu